So this is a hilarious film. What was your funniest memory from filming? There's kind of a little scene at the end, stay for the end, after the end, uh, that involves me in my birthday suit. And it took a while to film. So I was just in my birthday suit for a long time. And the in-between stuff of like, yeah, we gotta clean up and reset, and I'm just kinda kicking it. It was like, I, it made everyone, it's uncomfortable to be in your birthday suit. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make everybody feel like me. And boy, did they ever. So it was good. So you're blindfolded, there's kind of, yeah, nakedness, it's for a bit of a sex game. What's it's the like reality jumping today? into ice water. You know it's gonna be cold, but you just go do it. And once you do it, and you're out there, you're out there, so. How many times did you have to reshoot? Shot that over six hours, I think. Yeah, six hours. So in between each take, do they bring on like a gown? Yes, but then at the, like, it got to the point of where I was like, eh, I don't need it, I'm good. So, there you have it. We call that scene Naked Marco Polo, even though they didn't say Marco Polo. At the beginning of shooting, I was very conservative with him, where I would be like, are you okay doing that? You know, and he, I was very delicate. And at the end, I was just like, okay, I need you naked. <laughs> And he is, he actually feels more comfortable naked than yeah, clothes. because his clothes are so tight. Right, so we would be in between shots and he'd be standing next to me, all consensual, all fun or whatever, and I would be, you know, in Video Village and looking away and he'd be like, hey, how, how's your day today? Like, just wanna have a small talk? I was like, I can't with you right now. You need to walk away. I'm gonna ask you as well about the um, butt beer, beer funnel scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there just an initial 15 minutes where you're like laughing and then you're like, okay, come on. We spent a whole night laughing at that. I think the actual stuff that's in the movie is us laughing. Like they, I don't know if they ever got a straight take of that, but it was, uh, it was. We knew how funny it was, and we did it because everybody was, everybody was laughing at me and my butt. So always the butt of the joke. I mean, I got the giggles so hard at like two in the morning when we were shooting the butt chugging scene. Yeah. And I was shouting out jokes to John Cena. <laughs> oh, he did. And I, I couldn't get like, I couldn't get it out. And poor John is like bent over and Leslie's behind him. I mean, there's, and there's like a hundred extra. And I just Cena's was back. giggling and I couldn't stop. And I'm sure he was annoyed. <laughs> He didn't seem to be annoyed. He was very comfortable. He was very comfortable. Didn't even want to stand up in between takes and like cover up. He was just like, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're quite near, like hands wise. His butt has is um, unusual in that when most people lean over, like you can see just the butthole. Mm -hmm. I said butthole. Mm -hmm. You can see it. <laughs> With John Cena, he leans over. You can't because there's so much muscle surrounding it that it doesn't even, it just looks like like a muscle cave. You'd have to really like pull back. Pull it apart <laughs> to get to see anything going on. <laughs> so what about bloopers though? Because there was a lot of bits that were quite like cringy. Just My hilarious. God, they probably have another three movies worth of bloopers. I mean, we, we filmed so much that they don't put in the movie. That's up, that's up to the people above my pay grade if we ever see the light of day on that or not. There's so many jokes in this movie, but the movie isn't jokes. Like, it's, it's not, it's very heartfelt as well. That was a surprise for me to see it. I know the story was great, but man, we, we packed so much humor in there that I thought it was just gonna be a nonstop laugh fest, and there's a lot of laughs. You get caught up in the emotion. The, the relationships are built so well, and that's what I think carries the jokes, because you, the relationships are so wonderful and believable, you believe the embarrassing moments, the vulnerable moments. Like it's, it's very well done. Kate did an amazing job. And were any of the tears real as well? Because you cried a lot in the movie. Absolutely, absolutely. We, uh, they, they have a lot of, a lot of footage of me crying. All the women performing here, they're going to do so much great stuff beyond this. But it was great to see them so invested in this, and uh, that, like, as a, as a coaching dad, that makes you feel good.